You know, I never thought I'd see the day when I was writing this segment and I thought to myself, damn, I wish people would just be honest about being assholes. And that's my theme for this week. Two dickholes in human form who want everyone with a vagina to know that they're just here to help. First up is Pastor Garrett Kell, who was none too pleased with last week's Supreme Court ruling that said it was unconstitutional to require all abortion clinics to have at least one snipe hunt a week. In response, he made a video letting us know the one word he had for women who'd had an abortion. And if you were hoping, like me, that that one word was nunya, I'm afraid you're going to have to be disappointed because the word he had was, wait for it, Jesus. Now, don't get me wrong. When I heard that, I became damn optimistic. I mean, maybe he was talking about that sweaty guy with the musty smell who hangs out in front of the Home Depot. I can see how he'd be the cause of many an unplanned pregnancy. But no, what the bedtime story version of Mark Anthony wanted ladies who'd made reproductive choices to know is that a dead, illiterate, schizophrenic rabbi would forgive them if they asked nice enough. And I've got to tell you, this concern trolling is the bottom of the fucking barrel of these abortion assholes. When I see these motherfuckers toting their babies kill here signs and screaming murderer, I at least have the comfort of knowing that these assholes just found the building they're allowed to do it outside of. But these videos, these, oh, you poor things, you just need forgiveness for not being the easy bake oven the Lord created you to be videos that really rev my tachometer. Fuck this motherfucker. If he cared about women, or if he even really cared about abortion, he'd take a tenth of what he spends on hair gel in a year and put it towards WIC services, contraception, and free child care. You can take your fake empathy and shove it right along with the Filipino boy servants you hire on vacation, sir. And speaking of assholes pretending to know what's best for women, our next story comes from... Also, Texas, actually, where Sheriff Parnell McNamara announced he and his staff had arrested over 56 sex workers and Johns in a recent raid. And honestly, this starts out as a good story. Sex trafficking is one of the most heinous dangers to women in the world today. And while we don't have enough episodes remaining until Eli is arrested for the murder of Kelly Kohlberg for me to fully explore the topic, these busts are usually a good thing for women involved. Again, I know this is a longer conversation, but if sex trafficked women see the right services by the right people, it can save them from what anyone this side of a taken villain would consider living hell. Unfortunately, one of those right services is not Unbound, which is where the sheriff sent them. Because based on their website, Unbound seems to be a lot more church than recovery center. And look, I hate mixing religion and helping. It's not a you got chocolate in my peanut butter kind of thing so much as a you took a wet shit in my peanut butter. But there are religious organizations that do it right. And if Unbound was one of them, I wouldn't be telling this story. But these motherfuckers list prayer and Jesus three times in their values page. And as far as I can tell, what they mostly do is Jesus education and outreach. Little hint about charities. If they don't have specifics about what their charity does, it's because you wouldn't give them money if they did. So while we all hope these ladies get some help from a charity that doesn't list loving Jesus as 75% of their goals for the people that they assist, I'm going to wrap up this week's segment and hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. 